Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here from One Hive Gazette here with the next video and in this one I'm talking about expos and whether or not you should be putting them on ground or ground and air at this point in the game at Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 9. So before I get into this, just you guys might notice there was no uh, Clan War mini tip today and uh, that's just part of the whole situation that's going on right now. I have AP tests and those take a lot of time to study for and to take so uh, hopefully you guys can show a little bit of uh, empathy there and cut me a little bit of slack if things are a little bit slow on the channel but just for the next week after or by next Friday uh, things will have been wrapped up and everything will be back to normal but uh, hopefully you guys can understand that just that this is a pretty important time and I uh, gotta focus on a lot of other stuff but I'll continue to do my best to uh, keep the uploads uh, maybe not quite what they were and what they should be but you know to some extent keep them uh, you know at least once a day or something but anyway uh, let's get into this video uh, we're taking a look at some Town Hall 10s first and this is in Reddit Templars I think they have some really good bases and uh, obviously we do too I just don't want to show our bases but taking a look at how this guy put his expos he put all three of them on ground and I think at Town Hall 10, and you'll see this in pretty much all their bases, when you have a Town Hall 10 base with Inferno Towers, you want all three of your Expos to be on ground. That's just my opinion, but uh, that I mean, I'm, I'm pretty confident in uh, that being the better situation because when you think about it, uh, you're losing, by doing, uh, you're, you're gaining three extra tiles of range which can make a big difference and the main reason for doing this is to eliminate queen walks. Obviously these can target Valks or Golems or whatever, some other ground troop that's now uh, might be 8 to 11 tiles away, they can now target that. Or 11 to 14 tiles I mean, they can now reach that. But also uh, it's the queen walk is the main thing because look at the expo damage. This one does 100, I believe the level 3 does 90. They do more damage than a regular point defense. Um, at Town Hall 10, maybe not quite as much of a difference, but at Town Hall uh, 9 especially, which we'll get to in a minute. But by having three of these around the base, they are covering beyond the walls, and that's really eliminating a Queen Walk, because if you want to do a Queen Walk, you're pretty much going to have to invest a Rage uh, for the in at every point of the Queen Walk, because when the Expo and one other point defense is on the Queen, there's going to need to be a rage at some point. The queen is going to be losing health, and not terribly quickly, but at a substantial rate. If there's two normal point defense on her, it might be a little bit slower. She still will lose health, but having that expo kind of ensures there's always going to be that one point defense on her pretty much throughout the entire base besides maybe the bottom right there. So uh, if you coincide this with your sweepers, and you really have them working together as one unit to prevent queen walks, you can really force the attacker to have to use a rage at pretty much any point of a queen walk by having the sweepers point out one way and then the expos covering where the sweepers aren't. So uh, that's something to think about and I think it's definitely worth it because we're not seeing much many air attacks at all at Town Hall 10. It's pretty much exclusively Valk attacks and typically those are going to have a queen walk, especially for a three star attack with Valks. So by having these expos, you really are going to make the queen walk expensive as far as spells and troops go and uh, that'll really limit the attacker's ability to do stuff with the rest of his attack. So anyway, uh, I would say all ground. I think if you spread them out, and don't put them in the middle of your base, put them so they can actually cover stuff on the outside. There's no point having it just dead in the middle by that CC because it can't cover anything beyond the walls and that's exactly what you want it to. So anyway, uh, the next base, pretty similar thing. Uh, this one expo is a little bit in the middle. I think you could have moved that a little bit farther out. But uh, for the most part, these three are covering some uh, pretty suspicious areas for queen walks. And uh, you want to put them where you think the attacker is going to use a queen walk. Like I said, typically you want to spread the three of them out. And uh, if you can get, for an extended period of time, like more than just a few seconds, the expo and one other point defense on the queen, even if the point defense isn't maxed, like some of these defenses, uh, that will start taking her down even if there's four healers on her. So that really forces the attacker to have to invest some spells uh, to negate that extra damage. Okay, uh, this is another Town Hall 10, a little bit lower level, even has level 2 expos all around, but the same principle applies. I don't think the level really matters. Having that damage on her, even if it's only 70, 
and that's keep in mind this is 75 so it's a little bit lower than town hall nine point defense that's still significant and uh, it might not be decreasing her health that fast but having two point defense especially the expo which has a constant um stream of damage coming that can start making her go down especially if you get one splash damage on her or something so uh the value of putting it at air is not something that's at town hall 10 is really going to get you anything because we it's very rare that I've, i haven't seen a town hall 10 air attack i mean i might have seen one dragon attack for a two stars but i have not seen any kind of queen walk la loons uh, which were pretty much the only thing you saw at town hall 10 for a while for three stars but haven't seen it uh, maybe if it starts coming back out in reaction to this this might change some things but as far as for right now i'm thinking uh, be, you can be pretty confident in putting it all on ground this is a 9.5 base, and he's putting these two expos here to pretty much eliminate any chance of a queen walk, because these expos are going to be uh, covering some common ground, which when you have two expos on there, that really makes it difficult, uh, especially when the queen can't target them. That's a very important thing. Make sure they're far enough back. I'm not sure if this one actually is. I know this one is. Make sure they're far enough back so the queen can't target them. You want them to be there, and make the queen enter the base if she wants to take out these expos. So this is another great example, uh, 9.5, still very uh, strong strategy by putting them on ground. Uh, this one actually puts them on air, but you can see the difference. This would have covered so much more, but here it really only covers that little inlet by the archer tower and the cannon. Uh, same with this one, it, it kind of covers like a little range of the walls, but the, the queen can easily walk out of that, and uh, it, it's really much more limited, doesn't cover anything up here that three tiles tends to make a big difference. If you do want them on air, if you're afraid your base is susceptible to air, at least put it farther to the outside so it can cover more of the outside of the base. Okay, uh, some Town Hall 9 bases real quick. This one, once again, you can see its range is really only a few slivers outside the walls. And uh, sure, it is preventing against air, but air, if you have a solid, you know, offset queen, solid three air defense placement, I, I think you're better off taking your chances of getting hit by air with at least one expo on the ground than trying to put them both pointed up and being much more susceptible to queen walks because Town Hall, Town Hall 9 is a little bit more diversified, but we are seeing uh, much more Valk attacks and ground attacks in general than we used to. So I would recommend keeping at least one on ground. The good example is right here. This expo is pretty much... Uh, well, it's going to make it very difficult to queen walk anywhere on the northern part of this base. And uh, that's what you want to look for in your base. Where is it weak to a queen walk? You can see this expo covers the bottom. And because it's in a nice little position there, it probably doesn't even need to be on ground because it's uh, just close enough that it can cover pretty much a solid portion of this base, even though it only has the 11 tile range. Um, a suspicious area for a queen walk, I would say, to be like along here to take out some of these defenses, maybe wall break her in and get the queen. So uh, obviously you can't cover everything with only two expos, but he does cover quite a bit of the base and uh, it's always susceptible to a queen walk uh, to try to negate these double giant bomb sets on the opposite side from the queen. We'll take a look at a few more bases. This one once again has the one on ground and it covers so much more than it would have had it been on uh, ground and air. You can see the sweepers kind of covering this side to push out a queen walk, another sweeper here. Uh, so really, expo here, two sweepers. Use the sweepers kind of like you use the expos to cover these areas the queen walk might come into the base or might just walk around the base. So a lot of times it's good to put the sweeper pretty far out, pushing you know deep out of the base like this one is. Uh, this one, once again, another one on ground, and it's pretty far out. So it's covering a huge area outside the base, and uh, this one is kind of compensating for that by covering the backside, but this expo also extends pretty far out. So you can see here, let's go ahead and go to 11, I think this was another good base. Um, another good example, this one can be targeted though on a queen walk. Now there is a lot of trash in the way, so it would take a while for the queen to get there. Not a huge deal, but uh, it does cover a lot of the base as you can see. And this one, once again, even though it's not on ground, if it's far enough out, and this one is a little bit too far out, but in general if it's far enough out, it might not need to be on ground. So I guess that the take home message of this is at Town Hall 10, I would say put those on ground, not much of a discussion there. On Town Hall 9, uh, think about it, but as long as you have an anti-air setup that has the offset air defenses, you know, smart placement on your Archer Towers, Teslas, Wizard Towers, stuff like that, 
as long as you have the basics, I think you're better off putting at least one, if not both, on ground because air attacks, or sorry, ground attacks are much more common at Town Hall 9, even, in addition to Town Hall 10, and especially Valk attacks with Queen Walks. And the Expo is, especially with the damage boost it got, it's doing 90, these are doing 75. So by having that on a Queen, especially if it has an extended range, it can stay on her longer, it's gonna make them invest more spells or avoid the Queen Walk altogether. So hope this video makes sense. Let me know what you think in a, with a comment in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.